Welcome to the National Agricultural Centre here at Kenilworth for the City of Birmingham Championship Dog Show 2012. There are more than 9,000 dogs competing here at City of Birmingham Championship Dog Show. Here on today's programme, we are focusing on agility for the very first time and their top 18 qualifiers from the semi-finals and the agility competitions behind us go through to the Olympia finals. Now, today I'm joined by Andrew Race, who we haven't seen since Southern Counties, long time no see. It's only a month or so. <laughs> Too long for me though, Andrew. <laughs> uh, you've got a judges rosette on today, so what are you up to? Uh, I've got the great pleasure of judging all the puppy groups, so I'm really looking forward to that because I, I adore judging puppies. <laughs> When they've got that freshness, you know, they're not turned into little robots and they come in the ring all eager and naughty. Well, look forward to seeing you doing that. But mm -hmm. first of all, let's just talk about uh, Scottish Kennel Club. And okay. we, it was a bit of a clash of the titans, wasn't it? Yes, it was a, it was a Jilly versus Graham show. The PBGV bitch and the toy poodle dog, who seemed to be making 2012 their own. They were in the best in show ring. Um, they didn't have a terrier to worry about, though, at this show, I'm told. Evidently, the Terrier group winner had withdrawn. And what happened with that? Can you explain more? Well, um, the Terrier group was won by a Border Terrier that was owned and handled by Kate Irving, whose husband, Ronnie, who was the previous chairman of the Kennel Club, he was actually judging the pastoral group. So when it came to best in show, they decided that it would be advisable to withdraw the Border Terrier. Not that many people felt that that was particularly understandable because most people were of the opinion that if that was going to be the situation, why didn't they withdraw before the Terrier group? Or perhaps why they didn't enter in the first place? Well, that question has been asked, of course, but we should ask Mr Irving. <laughs> OK. Well, of course, City of Birmingham here is over the next three days, and we're going straight to the main ring for day one and the turn of the Hound Group. First to move now, the Afghan. River Sanji. <laughs> the Basset Hound. <laughs> the Petit Basset Griffin Van Dien. The miniature wire-haired Daxon. The Deerhound. The Finnish Spitz. The Norwegian Elkhound. Ridgeback. And finally, the Whippet. Very shortly, we will know the winner of the Hound Group at City of Birmingham Championship Show. 2012. The winner, the Whippet! The <laughs> runner-up, the Petit Basset Griffin Van Dien. Three, the Elkhounds. And four, the Basset Hounds. A big hand to the other eight leaders or six leaders in the ring, please. Well done, all of you.
So the winner of the Hound Group here at City of Birmingham and the first dog going through to Best in Show for Sunday night is the Whippet. Now I'm joined by the judge of the Hound Group, Ken Sinclair. Thank you very much for spending some time just talking to us, Ken. Um, you were very efficient in there. Um, did you enjoy yourself? I enjoyed myself. Uh, I thought it was a good group, but there was a lot of dogs there that I've done very well in the past that I really liked. Does it make it difficult then when you judge them again? It probably makes it easier because you know that you really like them. But of course you have to judge them on the day, some don't go as well as they've gone previous, but you know that you like the structure of the actual dog. Well thanks Ken for joining us. Thank you very much. So we're going to talk to the winning handler of the Whippet called Bjorna. Now you're not Bjorna, but you're Rob, Rob Wheeler. Um, you were the handler today. Tell us a little bit about Bjorna the Whippet that, that topped the group today and beat Jilly, the famous PBGV. Yeah, absolutely. So he's come over from Sweden. He was top Whippet in Sweden last year. Um, he's from the famous Adagio kennel in Sweden, which has been one of the top kennels in, in um, Scandinavia. He's come over really just to, for me to campaign for a year um, and, and see what the future brings. But yeah, he's got a first ticket in Dortmund um, and now he's second, so hopefully the third will follow. And of course, the Whippet actually had the top breed entry across the whole of the Hound Group today and it must be really satisfying to win a CC and best of breed in a numerically strong entry. It is in Whippets and I think when, um, I mean it's just the breed that I love, but when I first came into Whippets people said you're absolutely mad, but to, to be best of breed then to win the Hound Group is absolutely, just, just feels fantastic. Thank you Rob and congratulations. First to move again is the Bichon. The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. The Smooth Coat Chihuahua. The English Toy Terrier. The Griffon. Italian Greyhound. The King Charles Spaniel. The Minisha Pinza. The Pomeranian. And finally, the Pekingese. Very shortly, we will know the winner of the toy group at Birmingham City 2000. And 12. The winner of the toy group is the Piggies. <laughs> group two, we have the smooth coated Chihuahua. Group three, we have the King Charles Spaniel. And in room four, the Griffon. Brenda Taylor was judging the toy group, as you've just seen, and she chose the Pekingese called Eric as her winner. Now, Brenda, that was your ninth toy group. Yes. Does it get any less exciting to judge a group at this level? No way, because you never know what you're going to find. There's always something new coming along. But actually, 
This dog I've already given a CC and best of breed to before. He is a beautiful, a really beautiful exhibit. That lovely, lovely face, the lovely shallow head and the beautiful eyes. And he's got a really good body under that coat. Well, thank you, Brenda, for your thoughts. Here is Eric now, and he's looking rather lovely. Philip Martin, you're the owner, but of course, Bertie's soon was showing today, and he's breeder, co-breeder as well. Um, tell us a little bit about, obviously, Eric's success. We've seen him quite a lot recently. Yes, he's won, we think, nine or ten groups. He's been best in show once, and he's had 13 health checks, so he's a very healthy dog. Yeah, and tell us about the health checks. Obviously, the Pekingese is one of a few breeds that are on the health check list. Is it, is it a bit still daunting every time? Of course. The thing is that it doesn't matter which breed it's going in for the health check. They're doing the same checks. They're checking that the dog is sound. He can walk. He has no problems in breathing. And make sure that there's a healthy muscle tone. Well, Eric certainly struts his stuff in there. And so any preparations between now and Sunday? I mean, he's obviously got a huge amount of coat and grooming that goes into him. He'll play all day tomorrow on the front lawn. <laughs> Good to hear. And we'll see you back here on Sunday. Thank you. Thank you. First, the Hound Group. It was a bit of a whippity affair. Um, it certainly seems that way. This new Scandinavian imported whippet won the Hound Group, topping Jilly everyone's favorite PBGV who's in the lead for dog of the year this year and coincidentally when I finished my hound puppy group I also ended up with a whippet but it didn't end there because apparently in another ring earlier in the day Jan Woods had actually won the Yukonuba champion stakes with yet another whippet <laughs> so um, great celebrations um, in the whippet households I would imagine last night I should think so now moving on to the toy group and a peak specialist was judging the toy group and she chose a peak as her winner the yeah, famous Bren Eric Brenda Taylor judged the breed she's been judging Pekingese for years she knows a good one um, and of course it was Philip Martin's Eric who are Cantona. Of course it's marvellous for the breed because as we all know the Pekingese is one of the so-called high profile breeds and uh, Eric has passed every vet check he's been in and then he goes in and as you say the Pekingese wins under a Pekingese specialist and you know judges do tend to be subconsciously possibly a little harder on their own breeds so you know they, the, the, the dogs really do have to be extra special to win under a specialist. Thank you very much Andrew. So to be extra special in the agility rings let's go and take a look at some of that competition outside. Agility is the fastest growing dog sport in the UK and City of Birmingham are hosting qualification heats for the Olympia final. The top 18 dogs and handlers will go on to compete at the London International Horse Show in December. Today, we're watching the grade six and seven large dog semi-final. Commentary is from Dave Ray. Linda Hutchins will go next with the New England champion, Darling Falls Dark Secret. 34.73 to beat to take the lead. We've got some lovely Kevin Club and Joy Tate Crystal for the top two dogs in this class. But believe me, I'm sure most handlers would not be too happy about worrying about whether they should win it or not. In the top 18, qualifying for Olympia is Pull through, back, pull round that time, pull through, pull round that jump. Now in the finishing straight. And yes, and it's another one, 32.23. Into the lead goes the lead. Now this is going to be competitive. Sean Hunt's on next on the line, and he's got get in the fix. All the collie pet name fix. Sean and Fix, you're on the starter's orders, and she's got a proud white collie. Very popular in dog agility. In fact, they've been popular before you know, the 1980s. In fact, I don't think anybody had heard of brown white collie collies. In fact, we'll be on our first one. In 79, people were sure that it was just a cross spaniel, not a collie. So, uh, they've certainly become popular since then in the working world, and, uh, especially in dog agility. Lots of brown and white in dog agility. Through right, pull through and straight onto the gate frame. Now the 
Ross Ross finishing straight. And that's another good roll. We take Johnny the one, 32 points. Into second place he goes. Then we've got Lee Wingiat on the line. He's got agility champion Deanne Watercracker. And the pet name is Bold, so Lee and Bold, you're under starter's orders. Linda Hutchinson's still in the lead. She's second to go. She's retained the lead there, so. So Dave, you've been organising this lovely agility competition with the glorious sunshine yeah, here on us. this year, absolutely wonderful. <laughs> How's it gone this year for you? Absolutely exciting, some really stunning rounds. We've had a really great time here at the City of Birmingham. It's a great venue for doing agility, the ground's been great. And of course, we only have the best of the best agility dogs here because they all have to qualify to be here. Absolutely. And, and what's it like actually running an agility show along with a, a normal general championship show? It gives a chance for the championship show people, the breed people, to come and have a look what goes on in agility. And in actual fact, a lot of them are saying, we must get into this sport. It's great fun. I think I'm one of those. It's very skilled as well, of <laughs> course. It's not just about fun. It's very serious competition. Absolutely. Well, so serious, in fact, that we've got one of the winners here. This is Matthew and his dog, his border collie, who's won one of the competitions. Tell us about yeah. what you've won. Yeah, yeah he's... Uh, I won the uh, semis for the uh, Olympia 6-7 that um, takes place at the horse show in December, so I'm really pleased with him. It's worked really well. And have you got into a final like this before? Uh, yeah, I have. He's actually the winner from the novice last year, so um, yeah, he's, he's done well. <laughs> oh, excellent. So how are you prepared between now and then? Um, I'm just going to do training like I normally do and then ramp up sort of through November and December. Um, so normally two or three times a week, train for sort of 45 minutes to an hour. Well, best of luck and thanks for talking to us. Great, thank you. So day two here at City of Birmingham and it's a really busy one. We've got three groups judging today. That's Working, Pastoral and Terrier. So without further ado, let's head straight over to the main ring to see the judging of the Pastoral group. First to move the blood. The Ref Collie. The Pooley. The Polish Lowland Sheepdog. The Pyrenean Mountain Dog. The Samoyed. The Pembroke Corgi. Finally, the Shetland Sheepdog. the nod. And the winner is the Holy Soul and Shigo. And in group two is Samoa.
Give three good blood. And in group four, the Hungarian Puri. Lucy Mottram, winner of the pastoral group with Wish, the Polish Lowland. It's not often we see a breed like that at the top of the podium. How do you feel? Uh, really excited. I, I wish I could just relive it again so I could be in there and see it from outside because it just goes so quickly that you don't know really what's happening. You know, you never expect to win groups. There's so many great dogs out there and it's just a delight when you do. It really is. No pun intended there with the wish, you wish. Oh, yeah. no, no pun intended. No pun. And so the Polish Lowland ticked all your boxes then? Ticked all my boxes. She's a lovely size. She's a lovely true breed mover. And that's what you've got to remember. We're not looking for the one show dog that runs around the ring and they all move the same. They've got a specific movement. Lovely head and sort of very happy to be there. And it was just to me, just before she was the one that I thought should win it. First to move is the Airedale. The Australian Terrier. The Sesky Terrier. The Lakeland. Terrier. The Manchester Terrier. The West Highland White Terrier. Finally, the wire fox terrier. Very soon now we will know the winner of the terrier group at the City of Birmingham Championship Show for 2012. Very soon now we will know the winner of the terrier group at the City of Birmingham Championship Show for 2012. Is the Wire Fox Terrier. Second, the Norwich Terrier. Group three, a West Highland White Terrier. And group four, the Sesky Terrier. Richard Allen, you topped the Terrier group with Ada the Wire Fox. Tell us a little bit about Ada. Oh, uh, well, she's only a young bitch. She's about 18, 19 months old. That was her second group win. Uh, she was made up at uh, National Terrier this year. She was best puppy in show at Boston. And uh, she's owned by a couple of people from Hong Kong who uh, it's their first wire, so they're over the moon. You've obviously handled a lot of dogs over your time, and I understand City is a bit of a lucky show for you. Yeah, the City is, uh, is definitely my uh, favourite show. I won my first Best in Show here 15 years ago, and I've had uh, three Best in Shows in total. So. so when we go to Best in Show, you're going to probably be yourself a bit of a hot favourite. Well, I don't know about that. This is <laughs> a different day and different dogs, so uh, we'll keep our fingers crossed. Well, good luck, Richard. Thanks very much. So, Jeff Corrish, you were judging the Terrier group today. We obviously are normally used to seeing you on Around the Dog World in the group. How was that for you today? It was uh, pretty good. Um, the Terrier group here is pretty small. It's not the biggest in the world because so many breeders don't have classes. So, um, I didn't have the largest group ever. But, you know, the ones I pulled out at the end I really liked and it was really on final performance. 
And of course your winner was the Wire Fox Terrier. Yes. And what did you make of yes. that when you first saw it? Well, it, it, it's not new to me. Um, I actually gave her her first CC last year at the Fox Terrier Club of Scotland. And um, I liked her then, but I haven't really taken lots of notice of her since then and, until today. And I really, even then, wasn't 100% sure it was her. But, you know, I just thought she was lovely and, and she was presented perfectly and she moved and showed. You know, she deserved the top spot and, and she got it. There's to go the Doberman. <laughs> the Dog de Bordeaux. <laughs> the Giant Schnauzer. <laughs> the Great Dane. The Portuguese water dog. And finally, the St. Bernard. Now the final assessment with the stewards standing by waiting for the nod. And soon we'll have the group winner for the Working Group 2012. The winner of the World Award for some Bernard. Group two, the Goldman. Group three, the Master. And group four, the Dog Mordo. So topping the working group here at City of Birmingham on day two was the St Bernard called Maddie. Now, the judge was Carla Molinari. Carla, what did you think of your group today? Well, I had a lovely group with uh, many dogs of high quality and many of them could have placed, which was nice. Were you splitting hairs at the end there then? I was indeed, I was indeed. Uh, although, although, the St. Bernard took my eye immediately due to her presence in the ring and the powerful movement she has. She was uh, an easy winner for me, but there were other dogs there that could have gone to the top too. Very good. Thank you very much, Carla. Now, Tan, Hello. on the last programme we saw you and we interviewed you and we talked to you about the winner of the working group. It was. But today it's a different one. It is. Tell it us is. about this one. Uh, this is a young, young bitch. Uh, we've not shown her for a few months. Uh, she's already done very well. She got her title today, Excellent. so we are delighted. And of course, the icing on the cake is the group under uh, the very famous Miss Molinari. So that's that's wonderful. Uh, but she's already won a group before at Bath, and she went on to win Best in Show. So she's had a good career so far. <laughs> she certainly has. So I suppose you know, having taken one already, she's got pretty good chance, maybe. We we are just pleased to be in the last seven because the last seven will be wonderful dogs. So to be there is an honour. So Andrew, let's start off straight with the Terrier group. We've got a Wirefox Terrier from a very famous kennel topping the group again. Yeah, another group win for Travella, Bill Brown Coles, very famous wire kennel handled by young Richard Allen. And we had a Chesky in there in group four. That's very unusual. A Chesky, yes. Mr. Marrett will love that. <laughs> yes, yes, the Chesky pulled off group four. And then the same lady rushed into my Terrier puppy group. Now, moving on to the pastoral group, we had a Polish Lowland. Now, again, slightly a more unusual breed to be topping groups at this level. Mm. They don't often, but if you remember, last year at Blackpool, I actually had a Polish Lowland bitch 
topping the pastoral group there and, and from the same kennel. A foreign Samoyed was in group two? Yeah, there was huge ringside support. It was deafening. I mean, I just heard the noise from across in, in my ring. Apparently it travelled all the way from Estonia because this weekend they have the, the, the Samoyed World Congress. So lots of, lots of international dogs. More of that later. Ah, and then the, finally, St Bernard tops mm -hmm. the working group. That's right. So we've got two of these high-profile breeds proving that they can take on all comers, fit, healthy dogs, over in the, the puppy group. I had a most gorgeous six-month-old baby Samoy that I just fell in love with. And can you believe that's, that was actually imported from Australia? And the Australian breeder is here for the World Congress. And then did you put up a, another foreign dog in I know, another group? I know, <coughs> yeah. A beautiful Leonberger that apparently has come in from Sweden. But all is not lost for the Brits because in the Terrier group we had a really, really super Lakeland puppy winning the, uh, the Terrier puppy group. So all isn't lost for the Brits, believe you me. Welcome back to Around the Dog World, here for City of Birmingham Championship Dog Show. We're here in the heart of the Warwickshire countryside and today it's day three, the final day, and we've got gun dog and utility groups coming up, plus the grand finale, best in show. But let's go straight to the main ring to see the winners from the utility group. The Akita. The Bulldog. The French Bulldog. The Japanese Shiva Inu. The Lhasa Apso. The Miniature Schnauzer. The Miniature Poodle. And finally, the Sharpe. has been given. The judge has made up her mind. And it is the Akita. <laughs> Group two, the Shiva Inu. Group three, the Vasa Abso. Group four, the Miniature Poodle. And a big hand to the four leaving the ring now, please. Well done. So topping the utility group here was the Ikita. The judge was Carla Molinari. Tonight you're in charge of the utilities. What did you think? Well, I had a very nice uh, even group with uh, several beautiful dogs. So it was not an easy job. But uh, eventually I ended up with my selection of eight dogs and uh, my best of, uh, group was the lovely American Akita, really sound, powerful, masculine dog. I really liked him from the beginning. I also liked the Shiba Inu, it was a difficult decision between the two, but just the Akita had the edge on his movement and powerful uh, drive. And that's all it requires at the end, the edge, isn't it? Yes, it is, exactly. The edge. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us, Carla. Yeah. I'll let you go. Now, the winning breeder and the handler, breeder but handler. Uh, but your wife and Arlene Clure actually own the dog. That's correct. Um, tell us a little bit about this one. Okay, a young dog from a litter of four, only two and a half years old. His half brother was second in the puppy group today. His litter sister is made up here. His litter brother is a best in show dog in Portugal and Spain. And his other brother is the best in show winner in Austria. So it's a nice litter. And you were telling me a little bit earlier as well that he was being a bit tricky to handle today. Yes, he's tricky today. He's had a young lady this week and his head's not quite with me. It's uh, with whatever smells nice in the ring. 
just one of those things. He's moving well, just not standing as I'd like. Well, thanks for joining us, Dave, right. and good luck and best in Many show. Thanks. First to move, we have the Bracco Italiano. Exhibit 5642. The English Setter, Exhibit 5756. The German Weiher Pointer, Exhibit 5882. The Irish Red and White Setter, Exhibit 6125. The flat coat retriever for eight to six seven one zero. The English Springer Spaniel seven five zero six. The Irish Water Spaniel seven six zero two. Finally, the Welsh Springer Spaniel 7740. Very soon we'll have the nod from Penny and she's made her mind up. The winner, the Flatcoats. In group two, the Irish Water Spaniel. Group three, the Irish Red and White. And group four, the Welsh Springer Spaniel. So topping the Gundog group was the flat-coated retriever. I'm joined by the judge, Penny Williams, obviously a Gundog specialist in Hungarian visas and English setters, but you chose a flat coat today. What did it for you? Well, he has such ring, you know, he has such ring presence, willing to please, lovely example of the breed, very well balanced, beautiful head, so typical, and you know, that's what's required. Good bone, but without any coarseness, just fits the standard, you know, perfectly. And never stops showing, <laughs> and, absolutely. And he's not showing now, obviously, <laughs> clearly for this you. He's a flat coat. <laughs> <laughs> now, Pauline, and this is Merlin, tell us about Merlin, because he, he looks quite a character. He's a very elegant dog, as you can see. <laughs> Merlin has just gone seven, he's my first flat coat. He was bred in Scotland by Mrs. Susan Patterson. Um, she's, he is her first champion flat coat as well. We're very pleased with him. He won his first ticket three years ago, and then nothing until this year. But since Bath this year, he's had two reserves and four CCs. Oh. So we're on a, we've obviously matured, matured we're fully matured, yes. So it must be a bit, is it something in the breed that's a bit of a, a maturity thing? Well, some of them are very slow maturers. And it's, it's really nice that you've got a dog that goes on for years and years and years. Well, congratulations. I know it was a bit of a surprise for you, but good luck for Best in Show. Thank you very much. I'd like to introduce you to our judge. we brought in by a chairman, Mrs. Val Foss. And the first dog to enter the ring from day one, the Whippet. The Pekingese. The Wire Fox Terrier. The Polish Lowland Sheepdog. The St. Bernard. The Akita. The Flatcoat Retriever. On the table we have the Whippet. Exhibit number on the day 1062. A dog. The Whippet. Winner of the Hound Group. First day, Friday, the 31st of August. Will the puppy winners please come to the collecting ring? Puppy winners, please, to the collecting ring immediately. Next from the toy group on Friday, we have the Pekingese exhibit 2435. The Pekingese.
now from the Terry Group on Saturday the 1st of September we have the Wire Fox Terrier Exhibit 5598 the Wire Fox Terrier Now from the pastoral group, Saturday the 1st of September, we have the Polish Lowland Sheepdog. The Polish Lowland Sheepdog. So from the second day on Saturday, from the working group, we have the St. Bernard. Exhibit 3543, the St. Bernard. Today's utility group, we have the Akita. Exhibit 7950 is a dog. The Akita. Finally, from today's gundog group, the flat-coated retriever. Exhibit 6710, the flat-coated retriever. A nod has been given. Decisions have been made. And the winner, the Pekingese. <laughs> Reserve Best in Show going to the Wire Fox Terrier. So Valerie Foster's choice for best in show here at City of Birmingham at Stony Park was Eric, the Pekingese. Now, Bert, you were handling tonight, weren't you? We saw Philip yesterday, but you're today? Yes, I'm here today looking after the dogs, doing all the work. And so how do you think it went in there then? Oh, it couldn't have went any better, being best in show, could it? No, and it was obviously it's not Eric's first best in show, but tell us about his past wins. Well, he's been... Um, Best in show at Three Counties Championship show this year, and he's the, the top toy dog at the moment, and he's won 24 cc's. And what was remarkable about it, you said there was actually quite minimal grooming required. Well, if you've seen him yesterday running around the front lawn, and uh, he's, he's really a very active dog, and that's what Pekingese are, they're active dogs, they are dogs. Uh, they're not toys, uh, a lot of people think. Um, and yes, he loves chasing the sheep and uh, chasing the rabbits. Well, clearly you guys are absolutely delighted and you've got all these goodies to take home. Many congratulations Thank to Eric much. and you guys for Best in Show. Thank you. Valerie, tell us about what you thought about your Best in Show lineup this well, year. Well, it was a lovely lineup and it was no easy task. 
But to me, they stood out, those two, as they came in. And funnily enough, many years ago, when I did the junior stakes, I gave a peak of Bert's, um, leaving me breathless. Um, Margaret Everton and I, and Martin Freeman did it. And leaving me breathless is in the back of this dog's pedigree, and he's very similar. So, yep, it was lovely. Andrew, it's just gone seven o'clock. It's been it? a long day, hasn't it? it? Certainly has. Final day of City of Birmingham. We had two groups today, mm -hmm. Utility followed by Gun Dog. First of all, Utility Group mm -hmm. was topped by the Akita. I believe a young dog that Red Witch have been sort of sitting on for a while and at a half brother to the dog that I had in the puppy group who I had standing second behind a rather exciting new standard poodle who had also won best of breed today. Um, just moving quickly on to the gun dog group, mm -hmm. we had a flat coat retriever actually topping the group and it beat the Irish Water Spaniel which of course we've seen all year. The Merlin. Irish Water Spaniel, who I think was a hot tip for best in show today <laughs> under yes, Valerie. absolutely and funnily enough uh, Merlin was the pet name of the group one winner, the flat coat. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Oh, God. Everyone's going to be calling their gun dogs <laughs> Merlin from now on in. So how would you sum up sort of uh, City of Birmingham for yourself? City of Birmingham for myself was one of the most exciting shows I've ever judged at for the simple reason that I had the great pleasure of judging all the puppy groups. And I was really, really spoilt for choice. I, when those seven came in, I was so thrilled. And it was really splitting hairs. I mean, the Whippet bitch is just like porcelain. The standard dog is, is a future great. They were all, all seven of them were really super puppy. I've had a ball. <laughs> and it was interesting that D, uh, Dino, who was best in show here last year, his son was puppy group one. I, I believe this one is And by reserve Dino. best puppy in show and today. possibly even better than his dad. And um, so there's more connections there. <laughs> yeah, connections, connections. <laughs> connections, connections. And finally, just to talk about Eric, uh, the Pekingese, who mm -hmm. topped, the, topped them all. Um, he's obviously done so well in the last sort of year or two. Yeah, he's flying the flag for Pekingese. He's a happy, healthy little toy dog that trucks around the ring. He doesn't actually need Bert on the end of the lead because he seems as if he can do it all on his own. And sometimes he has done. <laughs> well, that is it. Eric, the Pekingese, did top them all. Best in show here at City of Birmingham. We'll see you next time on Around the Dog World.